Well, we're inbound. Tide's low in about an hour. No, we picked up Kenny's scoop. He had it fixed. Norman fixed his scoop for him. But he's got another scoop. That's Norman makes scoops. And Kenny's uh, testing that one of Norman's scoops today. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. Stand by. I got some updates for you. Update number one. Eight inch. SE Pro Core. I'm using it today. That SEF, boy, that thing is a nice core. Nice. I mean, I like it. But in that wash and in waves, it's as bad. This might be worse than the watt is. It's just got so many little fingers that grabs in waves and yanks your arm around. I'm giving my arm a break for a day or two. And I've had always, I've always had good luck with 8 inch cores. I don't know why. Uh, update number two. Yesterday, when we left the beach, we stopped by the 33rd Street Cafe and had some uh, what they call 33rd Street Cafe muffins. It's an English muffin with the eggs and bacon on it. Cheese. And we talked to one of the old, that's where a lot of the detective guys hang out at. We talked to one of the old guys named Spider. And uh, he'd been detecting like 40 years. And we brought up lots of different subjects. And one of them was the thimbles that we find at Thimble Beach. We told him. He said, well, you know why you're finding them, ain't you? Wait for this jet to go by. Jets today. <coughs> anyway, we said, no, we don't have no idea. We think a ship might have something full of thimbles. He says, no. Where we hunt at, what we call Thimble Beach, there used to be a big black, one of the only black amusement park dance hall beaches in this area called Sea View Beach. In one of the arcade games, some kind of thing he called a nickel nickel throw, he called it, your prize was a thimble. Some of the thimbles were brass, some, most of them were brass, some of them were silver. And he said that's the reason you find so many of them, that the, the main prize for throwing the hoop or nickel or whatever the hell it was, was a thimble. <coughs> so I guess that pretty well answers why, and people found me just throwing them back overboard. Who wants a thimble, you know? All right, so we're inbound. Stand by. There's the guru. He's a little ahead of me. Uh-oh. And he's got one of Norman's scoops. He's testing it out, like I said. I'll give you a closer picture in a few minutes. And he's looking for a spare scoop. Anyway, it's uh, low tide in about an hour. Maybe it's 40, 50 minutes. We're a little late today. We're going south. Stand by. We're doing a scoop. Stanley's here. Bobby's here. And the Jets are here. The Jets, God damn. Oh, I got about three dollars. No, no, uh. Well, like, come on, no, no, uh. said from the pier which is 16th street to here which is where we 24th street you know it has five targets the whole way that's not very good but that don't bother me because i don't care if i dig a dime or a quarter or a penny as long as i find some yellow i can care less about targets as long as they're gold targets if i only find my one that's okay you know it's been slow clad wise the last two days Stanley, he had, he had about three dollars worth of change, he said, but he'd been hunting up a little high, I think. His shaft broke on his uh, Excalibur, right at the tip where it comes out of aluminum rod. He had been to the hardware store getting some tape. We'll see how it goes. I think it's okay. Just won't be many targets. Maybe they'll all be good ones. So far, I got one bigger dime in four or five blocks. Four blocks. Stewart's in the lane from North Carolina. He was here last year. Chuck Scoop. He's a dual field man. He broke his core. Broke the nut off his core. He's going back to his caliber today. He's like me. He's tickets as tight, he says. 
All right, we're going. I'm gonna turn around here and go back to the bay. Slow here. Today we got a lot of jet noise, which I know you heard. We got a lot of Amish people in the lane today. Right? That's the third group of them I've seen on the beach today in different little pods. Must be something going on, maybe like a convention or something. I never seen so many of them. Stand by. Just laying in the sand. No detector needed. Made in China. Made in China. That ain't much for 70 minutes. We're going to the bay, like I said. Stand by. Near Thimble Beach. Well, Thimble Beach is on that side of the pier, but that's where we're going. We still got them little pockets there. I can see at least three. Look what the rainwater cut. Hey, look what the rainwater cut under the pier there. Damn, I was hollering at Kenny. This is interesting. Yes, sir. Paquitos. The rain from the parking lot, from the pier. <laughs> Look at this cut. It runs all the way down, runs right down here. We might have to hunt this for a minute or two. Stand by. There's the guru. He's going under the pier. I'm going in the water. Hell with it. There's a blonde in the water anyway. B L O N D E. I was going to throw this away, but. I spied something inside of it, you see it? Stand by. Piece of an old knife. Blade still in one of them big pieces right there. Okay, back to the sea. That's where that came from too. I just brought it up here to break it open. Well, that's a ring, but it looks like one of them spark plug rings like I found here one time before. <laughs> Stand by. When I first saw it, I thought it was a thimble. It was some kind of little brass cap. You see it? Ripple cut, ripple cut. Man made ripple cut. <laughs> I see a nice beer can. I'm gonna walk in and get a hit right there. It appears to be a quarter. Stand by. Ah, it almost made it. 1965. As you see, the next big apartment complex has a drain system of their own. Here's another big cut. Out of the other cut, I got a quarter and Kenny got 35 cents. So we got 60 cents out of that first one. We're going to go into this one now and see what it looks like. Stand by. I mean, that's what I mean. The old sand is exposed. The old beach. So all this is fill sand on top here. So what we're looking at is something that's been touched in a long time. Don't mean we find crap. 
Peach is nasty today. Nasty as I've seen it in a long time. Dead crabs everywhere. Dead rotten crabs. I don't mean just crabs that are dead. I'm talking about rotten crabs. All the way up the beach. Look at that. Got them right through here. Oh my lord. I don't like it. Stinks too. Crabs. You step on them boys in the beach in the wrong way. The point's right there. They drop that point and they'll ruin you. And they're very infectious. As is anything nasty. I knew some girls like that too. The bay nut. Two quarters of dime, two pennies, a little teeny washer you saw, that little brass doodad. It was a kind of a slow day. Probably go back tonight if the weather holds out for 8 o'clock for 10, 30, 11 o'clock low tide. Maybe. Stand by, see you tomorrow or later tonight.